Well, there was a snake in that uh, area. I just took a video of, and which that was actually this morning, but probably didn't get it on video because it stood still for like two or three minutes, and as soon as I pressed the record button, it went. Zoom. It flew off into the weeds. It was a black racer that was, you know, it had already gotten, I think, as its adult colors. They're kind of checkery, kind of reddish, brownish, grayish when they're newborns. So that guy was probably a juvenile. Maybe 18 inches long, not sure. I think we're on our second tornado watch since last night. One ended at 10 p.m. and another one ends at 2. So probably an hour or so from now. I'm not sure exactly what time it is. You can see the wind is pretty, pretty good up there. So these guys here were given to me as swamp sunflowers. I didn't believe that's what it is. So we're gonna, they supposedly spread, you know, through their rhizomes, roots, and they supposedly like full sun, so put it somewhere in that area. Hopefully we we're going to see it and not like cut it down. So, I mean, the, the, the best way for me to do this short term is to either plant it like by a tree trunk or right beside of a uh, another plant or tree I thought about doing that hill there that little banana mound but it's called swamp sunflower so we don't need it up in the air hopefully we'll just find a place here where it's got a lot of sun and maybe put it where I put those two pumpkins yesterday or the day before. Here's those two pumpkins. Get, get down. That dog, if I start paying attention to a leaf or a plant, he'll, she will come out here and just like snap it, you know, right in half with her uh, mouth. So we got to be careful. Um, but this uh, trunk here, dead tree, maybe I'll plant it around here somewhere. You, maybe on the other side here or over there let's dig with our hand shovel and see if we can actually dig some dirt around so I did put it by the tree trunk there gave it a little bit of water and let's see you know all that composted dirt you know or I should say composted tree there provided most of the soil you know the roots and the the trunk there you know the uh, ants and beetles and beetle larvae and all they just kind of broke everything down we'll see how that bad boy goes so what we have here is a cocktail grapefruit seedling they're hybrids so they may not come true to seed uh, I'm gonna do like a little area with um, one of these um, Probably a trifoliate orange, maybe a little farther away from the other others, and a citramella, an orange seedling, and that's possibly it. So, so cocktail, grapefruit, an orange seedling from one of our orange trees. I need to start seedlings this year for from the citramella, so it may not be in the ground for a year or two, and. As I said, trifoliate orange, which you know will probably provide uh, grafting material later on if we if we want to graft. Um, yeah. So here we go. That is our cocktail grapefruit seedling in the ground. Man, this soil is so rich and black and full of earthworms. I say this a lot as I'm digging in it. You know, it's basically untouched other than like wild weeds and trees and stuff here. And it's off and on, it had horses, cows, goats, 
um, stuff like that. You know, 40 plus years. So, the last things we had on here were goats and cows. And the richness is, you know, was probably already here for a long time, but I'm sure the goats added to it because they they uh, took all of the weeds and trees down, you know, small trees, shrubs, and everything down. So, you know, they were, you know, eating it, but the actual trees and stuff weren't really using a lot of the nutrients because it was getting eat, eaten to the ground for the most part. So as, you know, when they left, all their hay and poop and urine just, you know, accumulated and, you know, trees fell afterwards that, you know, as the goats killed them and stuff, um, they girdled the trunks and on probably 10 different trees, big trees and, you know, boom, here comes a tree falling down, rotted wood, leaves, limbs, you know, all that good stuff. I guess that's about it for this video. When I started taking the video of the snake that you probably don't see on the camera, I said, well, it's just going to be a one minute video or a 15 minute video. At least I got two things planted. And, uh, yeah, the swamp sunflower and uh, cocktail grapefruit seedling. And that's about it, you know. I guess every little thing we do is progress, you know, no matter how little time you have or resources or whatever.